Welcome to Loadout Lounge. Uh, my name is Seth Nichols, and today we're going to talk about the Big Idea Design Click Pin. Um, I've got the Slim, and in the box I've got the Mini. Um, we're going to go through both of them and just kind of tell you what I like and what I don't like, if there's anything I don't like at all. These pins, one of them is going with me on a regular basis, and typically I have... Um, a pocket on my pants that I put them in and I will show you real quick so on these true work pants it has a pocket right up front right next to where I put my phone um, that's where it goes every day so I have the mini click in the box still I'm going to open it and just show you what comes in it now I've been using the mini click for a while um, I've just kept everything in the box uh, for this very video so let's open the box now typically if you have ever looked at any other reviews or even bought your own um, big idea designs they they take care of you whenever it comes to packaging um, they have little uh, placards they have a sticker that comes with it they have the manual or instructions on how to change out the refills um, it has a huge list of refills that it accepts um, you can go on their website and you can find all the different ones that it takes i will tell you what i recommend um, i order these from amazon these are the pintel inner gel refills the lr7 these i've got a lot of them they i think it was like a 10 or 15 pack that came and i just put them in a drawer and whenever i need another one i just replace it um with the refills how to change um the pin you actually unscrew it so you just twist it unscrew it all the way until you get another you pull it apart take the ink out and you put another one in so with the um the mini click and the cl slim click this is how it's adjustable to different ink cartridges is how it screws together so it's fairly long right now uh, this is the slim right below it it's almost the same length as the slim when it's fully unscrewed but you can't click it when you once you screw it in pretty much to right about there That's when you know you've got it right to the right spot to use the ink. Um, with the, the pin clip, you actually need, in order if you bend it, I will say I've bent these a couple of times, have them in the pocket, it'll catch on random things. Um, not very often, maybe once or twice, and not even these two pins. It's a different one that I don't have anymore. Um, but you actually have to have the tool to in order to take this little cap piece off it unscrews and you can bend your pin cap what is this pin clip once you take the pin clip off you can fix it you can bend it back uh, and then put it right back on there is a little slot that it goes on put your locking screw back on use your tool to tighten it back down and you're good to go. The mini click is right at 3.81 inches long. The slim is a little bit longer than that. I'm gonna say it's between four and five inches. I do have an additional um, clip that you order extra from Big Idea Design. You can order it off Amazon, but it's actually cheaper through the website to get the uh, pocket clip. Uh, this is the titanium Damascus pocket clip that goes for the mini click and the click pin. I actually ordered it when I ordered this limited edition Cerakote green mini click. Now with the prices for the green Cerakote, it was a limited release, so it's not, it's not available anymore. I will say that some of the Cerakote is already coming off. Um, it kind of makes it look like it's used, which I've used this pen quite a lot. It's in my pocket almost daily. 
the limited release green Cerakote was $139. Um, the pocket clip, the pin clip that I ordered with it was an additional $39 from um, Big Idea Design, from their actual website. If you order it through Amazon, the pin clip uh, is $45. So it's going to be about the same amount depending on how much shipping would be for the uh, pin clip through Big Idea Design. With the Slim, this was $105 through Big Eye Design. Amazon's roughly about the same. The Mini Click, non-limited release, $75, or through the website, it's about 70. Uh, there is shipping if you order it through the website. If you order it through Amazon, you're gonna do, if you have Amazon Prime, it's gonna be free shipping. So it might save you a little bit of money. It's still through uh, Big Eye Design. If you look on the Amazon, the seller is actually Big Eye Design. With these pens, I generally carry them in my uh, either my front pockets or I actually wear a pair of True Work that I put them in the front pocket of my True Work True Work shorts. With the Slim, it's the same way. You just unscrew it, take the other ink cartridge out. This has a Schmidt refill P900M, but typically the Pentel Intergel LR7s are what I use in all the pens. These are just what came in it. And whenever these run out, I will put those pintails in there. I have a lot of them. I'm not going to run out anytime soon. But yeah, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, leave me some comments about which Big Idea Design pin you like the best. They have more than just the slim clicks. They have some dual clicks. They have uh, the bolts. Uh, I, I don't necessarily like the bolts. Uh, I'm old fashioned. I like the actual click, which these are fairly quiet compared to some other pins I have. Like I have a uh, Ride on the Rain click pin. That's fairly loud when it comes to clicking. And then you have the Big Idea Design. It's a lot quieter. You can still hear it fairly, fairly well. Just a generic pin. The Gerber. These are all gonna be a lot more audible as far as click. These are a lot quieter. And you can sit here and click all day long, almost like a fidget pin. All right, well, that is it for the Big Idea Design TI Slim Click and the Mini Click. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.